In September 1962, Chief Jewell was moved to relocate the church headquarters to Indianapolis, Indiana. Indiana was centrally located in the country and would be almost equal distance for most church members. She came upon the B'nai Tor Hebrew Temple, a Jewish synagogue on Ruckel Street, and felt it was just the place for the new church headquarters. She approached the rabbi about purchasing the synagogue. He assured her it was not for sale, but Chief Jewel was not deterred. It was not long before she had persuaded them to sell her the synagogue and 13 houses surrounding it. There were many families that made the move with Chief Jewel to the new headquarters, like the Townsends and the Burns. Their families go back five generations in the church. Well, we moved here, I believe, in 1965, when the church moved to Indianapolis. And uh, we started out in the uh, Bishop Jewel basement. We had church in the basement until we, we brought this church on uh, 34th and Rucker. Yeah, that's where we started out in Bishop Jewel basement, our house, and uh, from there up to the church. And we've been there ever since. We had a large family. And so, Bishop Jewel our, asked my mother, could I stay with her a while? So I stayed with her a while. I went and started living with her for, for about a year. In 1979, they celebrated their jubilee by burning the mortgage. 14 years after the purchase date, the property officially belonged to the Church of the Living God, the pillar and ground of the truth, which he purchased with his own blood. 